What's up, I'm Beebs, and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, we're going to quickly cover how to replicate montages in multiplayer so that the animations montages show up on the client and the server correctly. This is a little different from setting up the animation blueprints so that those type of animations are replicated and those you just want to replicate the variables. And here we're going to set up the RPC calls which will correctly get animations to play on the appropriate client server model yeah cool let's get started all right so this is a third person template that i'm in don't mind all this. this is a sandbox project anyway so in our third person character which for you will be in content third person blueprints we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a new custom event a custom event we're gonna call let's say play multiplayer animation Boom. And let's say, let's go right click, montage, play montage. This will be the animation that we play. Get our skeletal mesh component. Let's find an animation. Uh, you probably, I don't know. I don't know what kind of animations you have. I just happen to have some because I was setting these up. So you probably already have animation in your project if you're watching this video. If you don't, you're going to need to. So this is the one I'm working with. Sweet. It's the Sparrow entry level start animation. So let's just, for test purposes, in our begin play, let's call that multiplayer start thing. Play multiplayer animation. So this is like our base. Because it's a montage. Double check that have it set to default slot this is as a default slot group to play all right so that was a headache you shouldn't have to deal with that now of course this is broken because why we probably didn't exit the animation so let's play this montage instead Play, disable, do, do, do. There we go. Okay. So we got that. I'm going to change our team color because pink's getting a bit obnoxious. Let's do like a cool blue or some sort. A greenish blue, actually. A greenish blue. Is there such a thing? Turquoise, teal. There, but let's go darker. Boom, that's a de decent color. I set this up in another video. You guys don't have this. I shouldn't even show it, but I probably, I'll edit it out. Okay. So now that we fixed all that bullshit, all right, so we've got our play multiplayer animation. I'm gonna drag this down closer to our event begin play. So we have both of these on here. This plays this. Now let's test in multiplayer so you can see that it doesn't really work. At least in theory, it shouldn't work. Hit play. Notice that it works on this dude. I kind of played on there, but they don't show up on each other's. And that's kind of what we expect. So how do we fix that? We want this animation to play on both the client and the server. Well, this is how I do it. I'll show you. First thing we want to do is check for authority, which we do switch has authority, and then we're going to do some things, some stuff and things. First, we're going to create some custom events. We're going to call server underscore play multi I mean, play animation. That's not even close to spelling animation. What the hell happened there? Animation! All right, another custom event. We're gonna call this client underscore play animation. And on these events, we're gonna make this replicated to run on client, reliable, and this one run on server and reliable. Do I explain to you guys what these are? That means, sure. 
run on server is going to run on server reliable it means that it will almost always try to make sure that it's executed and there are some things that you don't necessarily need to execute all the time which sometimes like simple animations or like effects fluff you don't need it running all the time so if you're running a multiplayer game it might be a good idea to not make everything reliable only the necessary stuff all right now we got that out of the way so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make this Actually, I'm not going to do it yet because I want to show you what happens when you don't do it this way. So if we do server play multiplayer animation, it executes on the server. And let's just drag this off for now to test and I'll show you the difference. Let's not run that. So let's just call, oh, we execute this on the server. It should probably replicate everything else, right? Right? That's what you'd think, but that's not how it works, is it? it plays here. And the animation plays in here, but it doesn't play on the client. So it's only playing on the server. Weird, right? Okay. Let's add this authority check. What happens if we say remote? Just, just curious. Should only play on the clients, which will show up on the server. Yeah, not here, but the client is showing up on the server. The server doesn't play because the server does not or it is not remote to itself, if that makes sense. It's only the remote is animation is playing, which is on the client, and it's only playing on the server. So that will kind of give a visual representation of what we're trying to do, or of how things work, and now I'll show you what we're trying to do. So if we want client play animation, we actually want to ask the server to play the animation. And so now we say, okay, if we're remote, which means we're the client, we say client play animation. And this will call server play animation. So now the client is telling the server to play the client's animation on the server. Cool. Okay, so now we say if we are the server, let's say server play animation. like move these over here and delete this now let's test that so we get them both playing but they're not playing on the client isn't that strange so the server currently has control of everything as we like but now we want to say okay we want to multicast this which means if you highlight it Replicate this event from the server to everyone else. Server executes this event locally too. Only call this from the server. So that's what we have set up. If you notice, that's why we set it up this way. So that, okay, the client is asking the server to play the animation. The server is asking itself to play the animation because it's a dedicated listen server. This actually doesn't really work so well if you're doing dedicated servers versus listen servers. I'll get into that some other time. So anyway, now that this is multicast, it should work because the server will play the animation to everything. So now when we hit play, see animations here, but we didn't see the server's animation on the client. That bugs me. All right, so it's kind of weird that this doesn't work as I would expect it to, but this is how we usually replicate variables correctly, but for montage, it's a little off. So I'll play it again just to show you what I'm talking about. We're playing here, that's good. We're playing there, that's good, that's good. But I would expect it to play here, but it's not. It's kind of strange. But that's not really what our goal would be in the case of like playing a montage. So usually a montage will be triggered. So let's say like if we press the keyboard button I'm gonna say if we press 1 I'm gonna change this to M for montage so now we have server play animation and our server play animation will call play multiplayer animation which is multicast that's pretty simple this stuff usually I use this for replicating variables but I just want to explain to you the difference between client server and authority and remote 
and I just thought that that animation would play on the server as well, and it doesn't, which is very strange to me. Anyway, so that's that. So now when we press in, this should work in the way we expect, which is if you're on the server, you press M, it plays the animation on the server because the server is the one who called it. Now you're on the client, you press, let's move on screen, hold on, uh, press M, and it plays, ooh, drop it, plays the animation. And yeah, that's how you replicate montages. So anyway, quick and dirty overview of replicating animations and client server model. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I've got assets on the Unreal, Market Unreal Marketplace. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Leave a comment if you got video ideas. And until next time, peace.